the pit. I fell in the pit. You fell in the pit. We all fell in the pit. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's me, Spo. Uh, Fancraft. I'm still in the pit. <laughs> I'm still in the pit. How do I get out of here? <sighs> so when last we left our me. Yeah. So I, I blew up all my stuff. Uh, you know what? I, it, it felt like righteous justice, honestly. I, my, my direct comeuppance for me and Will's little scheme to get, you know, Fox's diamonds, which I mean, granted, oh, look, that's not a good look, which admittedly, I mean, like he offered to people to kill me on his behalf. So, I mean, you know, it's like turnaround's fair game. Anyway, point is comeuppance were made and uh, I lost everything. But from what I've been told, look, look, what you don't know is that the fan crafters are amazing. Like this is the best possible group of people to play with. As soon as I told everybody what happened, like literally everyone was throwing in to help get me back on my feet. And so I am... Whew, I am saved by the awesome community that we have here. And you know what? Hopefully this is going to be a good episode to showcase much of that community because finally at long last, after weeks, oh man, look at that right there. Come on. Yes, after weeks, we are finally going to find out who's going to own the Darksaber and kind of, you know, put a little end to this little fun little storyline that we've had going on with the Darksaber competition, at least for now. I mean, the reality is, as with all the artifacts, whoever has the artifact can decide kind of what to do with it they can create a game they could you know make different kind of you know fun things about it i don't know it's up to whomever has it so we'll see what the future holds but we know what today's gonna hold or at least this week's gonna hold and that is the big throwdown mando on mando of course it is the round three of the dark saber competition and as i'm sure you know you know the wielder of the dark saber it cannot be just given it has to be won in combat and that is what today is going to be all about so there's a couple things that I want to try to accomplish here as we get ready for the big Mando throwdown. And that is really just kind of fixing and finishing this whole thing, right? Like, so the shipyard is massive, but maybe a little too massive. You can already kind of see that I'm thinking about cutting it down and back. Now, I don't know if it's just a straight line or if there should be like these little like platforms. The problem with these platforms is I don't know what to do with these platforms. Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking outside the box or trying to think outside the box. The other thing, too, is I've been thinking more since last week about the big team build here and how this is really going to back up into the Jedi Temple. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It might be a really bad thing, especially if this ends up being like, like a, almost half of what the temple is or a third, probably more like a third of what the Jedi Temple is in terms of the length. So I don't know. I don't really like where it's at and we need to do something about it. I mean, I love this. I love the platform. I love this. I'm, I'm, you know, I've kind of, you know, I've covered up what I've been working on, but you're, you're about to see that down there. And so I'm just thinking we push this back. That's, that's what I'm thinking we need to do. We need to push this back. And I think that might solve just a lot of like the bland openness that we've got over here. Cause I, it's too small to put a ship my mindset was like we could do about like a bunch of ships scattered, but if just a TIE bomber ends up taking up basically half of what we have, we don't have enough space for that. So we simultaneously have too much space and not enough space. <laughs> so yeah. All right. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move this, move this back, get all this uh, set up down below the TIE bomber and get that all nice looking for a good throwdown fight. And I think it's gonna be great. So with that in mind, let's get into the building. And 
And this is the final product. And I think it turned out pretty good. So one of the things you'll notice is I did decide to not have this little jutting out area over here. I got one over there and pay no attention to the giant dragon in the sky. We'll talk about that in a second. But um, yeah, I feel like this works out a lot better. As you can see, we've got an entryway into where the TIE bomber would theoretically land, but we'll definitely be dropping some bombs for sure. And check it out. I have laid out a bunch of these little kind of, I don't know, like cargo containers. These are all temporary, okay? This is just for the fight for tonight because I wanna make sure that Knight and Fox have a lot of things they can duck around. You know, some of the stuff they can kind of jump over and hide, boom, boom, boom. Some of it they can't. And hopefully this will be great. Yeah, we, we should have a pretty good fight. It's gonna be very interesting because the TIE Bomber, oh yes, as we are <laughs> well aware, it is fully armed and operational, except it, it's, not actually, it's not actually armed right now. But we're about to change that. Oh, we're about to change that. Okay, I, I know, all right, you know what? We'll talk about the dragon in a second. Um, <laughs> Knight, how dare you upstage me in my own video? Oh my gosh, okay, but first let's, let's talk about this. So we have got inside the TIE Bomber this little pressure plate right here. We're gonna drop some chickens inside our TIE Bomber so that they will randomly step on this pressure plate, which will ultimately set off the bombing. Right down chair. Now, the bombs need to be loaded, and what we've done is we've asked everybody to kind of send us some stuff. And so, this is what they're giving us. They're giving us a bunch of suspicious stew, okay, chorus fruit, a bow, some arrows. So, they're going to have, like, some different things. Oh, <laughs> various splash potions. Oh, this is great. Okay, okay, this is great. So, it's going to drop from random from the bombers, right? Like, two things will drop at once. That's definitely going to happen. And it'll be random. We don't, we don't know what they're going to get. And neither do they. It's all up to the chickens. Actually, it's, it's all up to Chance and the chickens. Now, originally, I tested this. I had some chickens in here earlier, and I just threw a bunch of uh, fireworks in here, which I hope are still in there, because fireworks patch, pack a little bit of a wallop, so it'll be nice to have some of those in the mix as well. Ooh, what if I put some dispensers down here with some pressure plates, and if they just so happen to step on them, then they might get some of this stuff. Or it might be some splash potions or poison. <laughs> it's gonna be chaos. It's gonna be absolute chaos. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna throw these down. And then when I see you next time, it will be time for the throwdown of the century. The Mando fight. That's right. The battle for the Darksaber is all going down. Will it be night? Will it be Fox? Place your bets. Put it in the comments now. Who do you think is gonna win? Because today is the day and tonight is the night or the fox. All right, well then let me go ahead and uh, first of all, welcome you to the Battle of the Darksaber. This is of course the battle uh, of which all Mandalorians have been competing up to this point. And uh, while there have been some amazing, uh, amazing moments uh, <laughs> throughout this entire competition, it has all come down to this. Knight and Fox are the last two Mandalorians standing and thus uh, they must combat one another for who will wield the Darksaber. Now, Below you, you will see a pit. Inside this pit is, oh no, everybody sleep! This is the, 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 the guys, the, the phantoms! So as I was saying, down there, you'll see a pit. Inside the pit will be where our combatants are going to uh, combat. Now, you will start off, guys, uh, you'll need to stand on, on the wall. You can choose anywhere on the wall, but you have to stand on the wall uh, when you begin, or when we begin, I will tell you when we start. You'll also notice down there, there are pressure plates. The pressure plates have dispensers underneath them. Underneath those dispensers might help you or they might harm you. So whether or not you choose to stand on them is up to you. Now above you, you might notice a TIE Bomber. Now you might be thinking, that's a pretty TIE Bomber right there. That looks really, really nice. Well, I have to tell you, this is a fully armed and operational TIE Bomber. It is there to drop random things on you throughout the competition. There will be splash potions of question mark, question mark, question mark. There might be fireworks, there might be arrows, there might be goodies. There's all kinds of things that could potentially happen along this battle. Do we have a volunteer for who wants to work on our scoreboard? I'll take that. Thanks, Doc. So yes, uh, so Doc will be running the scoreboard to mark who wins uh, and who will ultimately fill up their, uh, <laughs> their lights all the way to the top. That is the winner. I have one question. Oh, yes, quick, yes, 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 what is the question? So the way you have this set up, your one redstone lamp powers the other. I, um, all right. We well, were going to take a brief, uh, intermission. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so gentlemen, I now uh, now that we have a brand new state of the art uh, scoreboard system, which again, thank, thank you. you to Doc for running. Fox and I, I need you to meet me down here. All right, gentlemen. And, and what totem. is carrying totems? Oh, okay. Oh no, and Fox has a totem. And wow. night with a potion. What sort? We will never know. All right, on the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. This is the way. Oh my god. Whoa! Uh, 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 All right, first point knight. Threw a totem. I wow. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Round two, go. Two points, nine. What do you have on that sword? One, two, three, go! Watching the Chiefs play anybody in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. There, Knight, come forward. Uh, you have proven yourself in battle, and it uh, has been declared by all that here that you, in fact, are now Cheated. the owner of the Darksaber artifact. However, can you Yay. defend it? Because surrounding you are several hungry Mandalorians that would love to take it off of your body. Whoever can defeat defeat Knight gets the uh, gets the Darksaber. I need your helmet uh, with your armor. I can defeat Knight and get the dark saber back. Yes, let it go towards the greater good. Yes. <laughs> Night villain was slain by Dolphin Head. How did that happen? I'm eating some suspicious stew. As long as it doesn't despawn. Yes, 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 yes. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. That is correct. Oh, yes. They got a little crazy there. I'm not going to lie. It, <laughs> it got a lot crazy. Listen, I made a lot of comments about this. Knight has made an incredible statue of Smaug here in the Tolkien district, and it just absolutely looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, that thing is just awesome. It really just is such a great statement piece in the Tolkien district. And I'm going to show you even more about that in just a second. But listen, uh, this was awesome. We had an amazing competition. Big thanks to all the fan crafters who showed up to uh, to play with us. And um, yeah, obviously, Knight absolutely washed the floor with Fox. And then it became just an all-out free-for-all, which when it was all said and done, Will got the Darksaber and like absolutely laid the smack down. But then decided that, you know what? He was going to give it to Fox or back back to Knight who won it fair and square. But then Knight said that he wanted to give it to Fox. So yeah, so Fox actually ended up with the Darksaber when it was all said and done. Kind of crazy, but it was a lot of fun. So thanks for everybody for just, uh, yeah, for having some fun with us and uh, as we kind of go along with these kind of crazy ideas around the artifacts. Looking forward to seeing what the ones for the Marvel District is going to be. But, okay, I want to show you this real quick before signing out. Now, again, look, we, we've, we've created this little path, right, from, from our kind of spawn area into the Tolkien Town District. And as you see, you go down, you go down in, and you go into our little Hobbiton and everything else. And, I mean, you already see it. It's such a statement piece. But Smaug is just right there. It's so cool. It's like the perfect place for something like that. I think it looks amazing. And of course, I put some trees here to kind of, you know, make you feel a little bit more immersed. You kind of go up the path and, you know, you got the cabin, you got Gandalf's cart, you got Smaug up there, and then so much potential for more back here. I'm really excited to see where Tolkien Town goes from here. But that is going to do it for us for today. We hope that you have enjoyed our 
uh, you know, a little Mandalorian competition and having some fun of games because next week it is all about completing Avengers Tower. That's right. We are going to finish our big team build, our first big team build, and I uh, hope you're going to really enjoy it. Join us next week. That's going to do it for us for this week, but until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.